All right, I, I'm showing that I have some basic abilities here in the atomic, subatomic realm, and I also have abilities in the ability to understand rocks and molecules and so forth of the dirt and things that we see, and it is all biological. They refuse to engage with that, too. All right, this is the dragon. Runs all across North Africa attacking this giant fish, and it's just there. I cannot tell you why or how it happened. You make your own determination. That is a gigantic dragon. That's his neck and his throat running all the way down. This is the effluent draining off of the dead, decaying dragon. This is all dragon scales on the throat running all the way down. And this is the fluty looking stuff that you see on the side of dragons in the parades. And these are his dragon scaled throat he or she and way down here there's a cut straight across and that's where it bled out in the desert there are other injuries I found down here and other cuts but this is the one that did the job now in the meantime it was trying to kill the fish which is right here do you go up and look at it I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time I've shown this hundreds of times it ate into its vital flesh here which was spit out of some really nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. And it came down and it just attacked that fish. It was trying to kill the fish. All right, now, so if NASA can't see that with their satellites, I, I don't know what to say. And Mars is completely covered with life, too. Earth is 100% life. Everything in space is life. Comma 67P is a gigantic tendon emphasis. I showed this and I can show it again and I guess I should. Okay, I just put this video up oh, March 1st, a couple days ago, and this is how could this be possible. It's about Comet 67P. Now, if, if all of these space agencies do not take this into consideration, I say they are not doing their job. They have failed their mission. Now, I showed Comet 67P here and it's bundle of muscle and the tendons and the tendon ball and I think back here yeah I show everything back here you see I pointed out very carefully exactly what it is and how it's formed and then the ball that the, the all of that stuff goes into there's the muscle there which I showed the bundle there's the tendon there's the ball and then outside the ball is all those little balls show here and that's what locks it into the meat that it was into then the muscle runs off of here and the tendons run up to whatever it was and this is gigantic and it's its molecular signature is well in here well there's a molecular signature and that's what's shooting out of there is these gases from literally from blood vessels that is an artery because it's just so gigantic squirting out. These are little tiny blood vessels that feed these little fibers. Every single cell in your body has to be nurtured. And this is the chemistry. And that's the size of this thing on top of Raleigh, North Carolina. It looks like it had a bone coming out the middle. And, um, and these are these big cavities, and these are little, what they call dragon balls. These are blood cells, blood, little, you know, blobs of blood, clots. And then they cook off when the sun hits them just the right way. It's not just blowing off of here. You can see them spitting out in every different direction. It's not just waving off like it's dust. It's cooking. And astronauts say they smell steak when they come back into the airlocks and take their suits off. Okay, my friends, there's a whole new thing going on with Mars. They're up there looking for life, and they really honestly don't understand what they're looking at. Let me fulfill NASA and NOVA and PBS and the whole rest of the world, because they're just not understanding what they're seeing. Okay, my video went up on the 21st. There's one up on the 24th. So, what I'm saying is you're going to see life almost certainly existed on Mars. I'm not going to do another one about it. It's only six minutes long. Let's watch it. ...of information about Mars now. Is there any life on Mars? All of this has been going on for the last five and a half years. Look at this. Over the past five and a half years, NASA Security Rover has been snapping imaging the Martian surface. Is there life there or not? Guess what? So has Roger. Okay, this goes a long time ago. These are, this is from NASA. You see down here the picture. 
from NASA, and this is the Mars Crab. And what is the Mars Crab? It's right down here, blown up, it's here. That is an artery, that's a vein. An artery pushes blood into the surrounding tissues, which these layers are layers of tissue, and these breaks are called the sarcomeres. Here's what happens. Your muscles pull like that, but they need a lot of blood and oxygen and nutrition to do their job. That's what this is. And it's down below, too. Uh, well, you can't see it in this, but it, all of this, well, you can see it. See here? That's below the blood vessel. I mean, that's what it is. And I'll show you that in a second. This pumps blood into that tissue to make that muscle work. At one time, this was a gigantic creature, was alive, and all of this blood now is the plasma and so forth is running out into dust. See, here's the problem. NASA, they just absolutely won't speak to me about this. I sent this to everybody in the space administration, everywhere. European Space Agency, every single one of them. Universities, and they just are, they're afraid to speak about it. This is, there's no question what this is. And I show this in so many different ways. Here's the sarcomeres, and, um, and then they have the Mars blueberries, which are these little, these are what's called interstitium. And I actually uh, uh, discovered interstitium. Here it is right here. And these are these little blueberries, which are, what happens is when you have skin and tissue, um, then below it you have your squiggly flesh that moves around when you twist and contort and everything, but it has to come back to where it was. The balls bring them back. The collagen fiber is like a little plastic thing that forms these bubbles. These bubbles are filled with fluid. The fluid is what leaks out and then all of this runs down into mud. The fleshy stuff turns into mud and the balls sit on top like this. It's exactly what they are. This is the basement layer underneath where the where you start to get into the flesh. And the same thing happens on the earth. And I discovered this back 10 years ago when I worked with Gil Headley, who was a top anatomist in the world. And here is interstitium on Mars. They call it the Mars Morse code. That's gathered interstitium skin. This is stretched interstitium and the balls here. It's eroded. It's eroded because of Mars is like a sandblaster. This is almost like like sandblasting. It's it's that fine. You see it? All that is 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 red fleshy tissue. And and on the surface of your skin, there's a lot more silicon. And I also believe there's a lot more iridium uh, on the the skin layer because it's a, it's a tough, dense, rugged area. And here's all the stuff they found on Comet 67P. I studied that too. And that is 100%. And here's all the stuff on the light. And it is light, and there's light accelerated. There's the particles. There's the um, electron showers. There's the spinning light. I mean, and there's something nobody knows about. Um, and there's the muons, and these are the electron showers. This is more advanced than CERN. So I expect somebody to talk to me at some point. And here it is, Roger at mudfossils.com. Thank you. I love you all. Now, it is spectacular. Absolutely no question. Anybody ever suspect it? No. Is it real? Absolutely. Does it require investigation? Without question. Is it being done? No, it is not. This is Roger, Mud Fossil University. I expect somebody to get a hold of me or somebody to raise their voice against what is going on. It's not correct. If these people are scientists, let's see some science. Let's not see a culture of denial. And that's what I have seen for 10 years straight to this very instant. Thank you. I still love you all.